and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to actually mix and match and do a little bit of, uh, very little of footage of my riding. I'm back at my local trail again. But I'm going today to talk about uh, composition of photographs and even videos. I don't I don't worry too much about videos because I'm not that uh, particular in there as of yet. But uh, when it comes to photography, um, learning how to compose a shot can absolutely uh, determine whether your shot is good or absolutely horrible. Case in point, I will probably put an example here. Or here. I don't know. I'm not good at that stuff. So, let's get in a little ride footage. And then I'm going to throw in some other footage. I brought my digital SLR. Nikon d3100 yes it's an old camera it came out in 2010 but it still does the job uh, the only thing i would say about it is i wish i had maybe a little better lens uh, rather than the kit lens not that the kit lens ain't okay but as we all know you can get a little bit better sharper lenses so also, keep in mind, I'm not a professional photographer. I have done a couple of little jobs here and there just on my own and made a little bit of money. Like a handful of times uh, in the past. Uh, I am by no means uh, a professional. But um, anyone can learn how to compose a shot. So, alright, let's get a let's get a little bit of riding footage and, and we'll... Uh, discuss things a little bit more and intertwine the photographs and such into this video let's get it on not composed correctly hi I'm over here composed correctly how you doing let's ride Lucky enough. Do I? Oh man, I'm so lucky. All right, guys, just stop for a minute up here. I'm pretty much done. I'm almost done with my first round. <coughs> Sorry for that. So, back on to the composition. How to compose a photograph? Why to compose it? Etc. Etc. And like I mentioned before, I'm no professional, but I get the idea, I get the gist of composing a photograph correctly, or a video for that matter. 
one thing you want to do is take your time uh, when you're when you're just out taking pictures and you're thinking ooh this is pretty okay keep looking at it look at what you're looking at walk around a little bit look at things from different angles squat down climb up on something lay down uh, get in different uh, viewpoints and such uh, it's it's key to trying to capture as best you can uh, the image that you're seeing in your mind uh, as everyone knows or you should know uh, what we see with our eyes is totally different than what your camera is gonna capture uh, depending on the type of camera you're using depending on the sensors depending on the settings depending on the lenses depending on how you shoot the picture that you're looking at uh, it's all going to look different uh, from what you're seeing and your picture is going to look different than my picture even if we're using the same cameras and walking around the same areas everyone's gonna do something that looks a little different uh, no two people are the same usually when it comes to that and all this all this applies to videos too watch what you're doing uh, case in point, I went, uh, me, my oldest son, and my nephew, uh, we all went to a Comic-Con in Nashville in 2015. And, uh, of course, I'm walking around. I'm the one with the big camera walking around. You know, they all have their cell phones. And, uh, and I'm taking pictures and that. And, of course, I'm just doing snapshots and that. I'm not trying to get anything artistic and wonderful and wow uh, but I'm just doing snapshots and you can look at my pictures and the couple of pictures I had them take for me and see the difference a hundred percent why well because whenever I take the picture I walk in I back up I use the zoom in and zoom out uh, and I try to make sure that I get the main subject that I'm looking at. Nine times out of ten, what I see are people uh, cutting people off at the waist or higher and getting the ceiling. Why are you shooting pictures of the ceiling? Have no idea. That's a bad composition. And I have photos from that event that show that. Uh... It's things like that you got to watch out for. You got a viewfinder and a camera, or you got the screen, you got your cell phone, whatever it is that you're using, use it. Use the screens. Look at what you're looking at. Don't look at the people. Don't look at the objects. Look. See what your camera or your cell phone, whatever, is capturing. You want this to be something that you can show and look at and appreciate. And uh, you can't appreciate someone's costume when 90% of it's cut off at a, at a you know at a, one of these uh, comic cons or whatever um, pay attention you don't want the ceiling nobody cares about the ceiling nobody cares about the floor or the 15 uh, 20 feet over here or over there make sure you know what you're doing pay attention is it a photo that you would want to look at or are you just snapping away and hoping just a few tips, a few pointers. I'm going to insert a few pictures that demonstrate all of this to you. Uh, I, like I said in the beginning, I did bring my digital SLR. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I don't know what I'm going to do out here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take pictures and demonstrate with that or just use old photographs that I have. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll let you know if I remember to tell you in the comments <coughs> or the uh, description. So, anyway, I'm going to continue on this ride and uh, get a little exercise. Let's ride. Or should I say, hey, I'm over here. Let's ride. No. Here I am. Hey. Oh, hey. I'm right here. I composed it. Let's go for a ride.
Hmm. <coughs> Awkward. There we go. Alright guys, I've went around the trail a couple times, halfway here, halfway there, this, that, and the other. I'll post a, a little map right here, or right here, or somewhere. You'll get the gist once again. I'm going to head across the street. Across the street, I'm going to go around the paved trail, like I normally do, probably one time. And then I might break out my digital SLR and try to take some pictures and enjoy a little bit more of my morning. So let's get going, guys. That way. Yeah, that way. That way. Morning. Hey, bud. Is he good? <laughs> you got your hands full there. <laughs> That's usually the way it is. Have a good morning. Did you notice that man had three dogs all on leashes and moved out of the way. <clears throat> All right guys, how you doing? Done riding my bike. It's on the rack, ready to go home. So I'm gonna bust out the old camera and I'm just going to take a simple couple of pictures of this wonderful Eiffel Tower we have here in Paris, Tennessee. And I'm going to get a picture of a good composition and one with a bad composition. And I will put them in the video. And I hope this helps. I'm not saying my compositions and all that whenever I try really hard are perfect. I'm just saying it's better than what you get most of the time. So let's walk around a little bit.
anyway guys I'm out of here I'm gonna get back home we have a little family thing to do today eat a little bit visit a little bit all that good stuff so guys I hope you enjoyed the videos uh, I do all of it for free and no ads no monetization no nothing as far as I'm aware of so enjoy your day and I get a week off for fall break that's a perk of being a school bus driver so guys get up get out get around and do it to it even when doing a ride and picture instructional video mashed together have a good day <laughs>